Dr. Zakir Naik, congratulations and best of luck uh, for starting Peace TV. I request all the audience to give him a big clap. My question is, why is it imperative to circumcise in Islam? The brother posed the question, is it imperative, is it compulsory to circumcise in Islam? Is it fard? Brother, it's not fard. In Islam, it is a sunnah. A sunnah te moqada, highly recommended sunnah, it is mustahab. It is mustahab in Islam to circumcise, it's not a fard. But there are various reasons for that. I, being a medical doctor, we can give a talk only on why circumcision should be done, but it's a question answer time. I'll just give you a few points. Today, science tells us that if a man is circumcised, he has less chances of having carcinoma of the penis, of having cancer of the penis. Less chances, negligible chances. If you're not circumcised, there are chances. There are various diseases which can be prevented if a man is circumcised. In circumcision, we cut the prepuce, the foreskin of the organ, of the penis. And here, we realize that where a normal person goes for the call of nature, when he, after urinates, there are droplets of the urine remaining in the prepuce, in the foreskin. This causes various diseases. It can cause itching, it can cause inflammation of the skin, it can cause prepucitis, many things. So all these diseases are prevented if you're circumcised. And beyond that, when we go for the call of nature, we even put water, which prevents it further. A person today, science tells us, he enjoys his sexual life more if he circumcised than non circumcised. Furthermore, the chances of various other irritation of the skin is not there if you are circumcised. Today, latest research tells us that a man who is circumcised has less chance of having AIDS. The virus of AIDS can spread faster if you are not circumcised. There are various lists of diseases which are prevented. That's the reason today in America, more than 50% of the boys. After they are born, they are circumcised. They are Muslim. Even the Christians in America, the doctor asks the parents, do you want your son to be circumcised? And more than 50% of them are circumcised, not because Islam says that, because they know it is a benefit for the son. Hope that answers the question.